Tuesday. It is bright and early right now. It is 4.30 a.m. Um, Blake has to go to the airport. He's going on a quick little business trip. Um, I'm staying home, um, so I'm gonna take him to the airport and we're gonna kind of take you through a day in our life. So I'm currently on my way to um, business on a business trip here today, uh, going out to Philadelphia. So uh, yeah, I'll take you along. Got back from taking Blake to the airport. I'll take you along today with me on kind of what a normal work day at home looks like. Blake might be taking you along on what a travel day looks like. What I do in the mornings is kind of go through emails, just kind of get rid of all the ones that I don't need. And then I kind of just go through what I'd like to get done for the day. Um, Blake and I kind of keep like a master list of things we need to get done like online But I'm just kind of the type of person who likes to kind of have it all written down on paper It's just really simple. I just kind of keep it on this notepad. So yeah I know that they're probably right and maybe I'm wasting my so I got most of my to-do list done today. I have a meeting. Um, we usually have meetings on Tuesdays in the office um, but we kind of met with them yesterday instead. So now we just kind of have an online meeting with one of their vendors that we help, hoping to potentially work out, shower, and I just have some different other things I need to do. workout in showered and yeah so I have a meeting in about an hour so I'm just gonna have a little bit of breakfast now um, I've been really liking these two good yogurts they're only two grams of sugar and they're sweetened with stevia and two grams of sugar is just from like the yogurt itself so yeah that's a really good like keto option that's still something sweet like yogurt that I enjoy sometimes <laughs> All right, so we just arrived here at the hotel. A lot of traveling, a lot of driving. Yeah, we're just gonna go get some dinner and then tomorrow we're gonna get up and film the, film the little bug test that we're doing and then I'll be flying straight back home. So yeah, quick turnaround, but um, yeah, should be good. Today is just dragging on, but I just went on a walk, got the fresh air. My head has just been hurting all day, I think, from just looking at too many screens. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my computer to restart so I can kind of just work on a few last things before I just make some dinner tonight. Blake and I are together basically every day, so it's a little different without him. We miss him so much, but it sounds like he finally got to the place in Philly he was supposed to go to. He said it took 11 hours. 11 hours. He was flying from Seattle to Philly, and then they had to, like, drive, like three more hours out to some lab out there. All right, time to just make some dinner now. So I think I'm just gonna have some salmon and some asparagus. Um, usually I just bake them, which is super easy. So yeah. Here's what we got. Salmon, asparagus, and yeah. All right, so it's the next day. I'm just about to leave. Um, we are gonna go film those bug tests that I was talking about, um, which test the effectiveness of insect repellent clothing. So um, very interesting, but um, yeah, I'll take you along. And then uh, after we film that, we'll be driving back to the airport. <laughs> I know that they're probably right and maybe 
Good morning, guys. It has been a good morning so far. Um, just got done with the meeting and kind of was a terrible night, honestly. Good story here. We have these Nest thermostats and also smoke detectors, and we've been having the same problem for like six months that just in the middle of the night, randomly, all of a sudden the smoke alarm goes off and says, there is smoke in the hallway or there's smoke in your master bedroom and you wake up like oh my goodness like our house is on fire but like sure enough not a bit of smoke anywhere to be seen so you have to scramble get up disconnect the smoke alarm unscrew the whole thing and it's pretty terrible like usually you can like kind of press like disarm but like this time it was literally like the smoke is too thick to disarm it's too dangerous and it's like okay well there's not a smidge of smoke anywhere so like yeah so it's kind of the worst so that was annoying in the middle of the night and there's really no rhyme or reason to like why it does that so blake's getting back tonight at like 9 30 so that's exciting it sounds like his filming went pretty well with the bugs today's kind of gonna look pretty similar to yesterday and just kind of some at home work we live in the moment we light up the night we roll the morning back at the airport now uh we finished uh filming the bug test um and now we're just waiting for our flight to leave so um, should be living here in about an hour. go pick up Blake from the airport. He should be getting in here any second. Just landed back in Seattle. Now, uh, gotta go out and I think uh, Mel's should be there to pick me up. Oh, super tired, but um, yeah, quick trip, but good one. morning and Blake got back last night. Yeah. How was your trip? Uh, it was a lot of traveling so uh, yeah majority of the time was spent in a plane or in a car so that's always fun. <laughs> yeah so we're just gonna go on with our day but it's really good to have him home. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.